Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book talk on Dreamology by Lucy Keating, which is a new YA contemporary book that I just recently found at Barnes & Noble a couple days ago, and I decided to go ahead, pick it up, and read it, and I absolutely loved it, loved it so much that I wanted to do a book talk immediately and share it with you guys, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I will be doing a non-spoiler summary for those of you that have not read the book yet, but I will also be doing a spoiler section at the end for those of you that have read it, so I'm just going to get into it and tell you guys a little bit more about this book. This book follows young 16 year old Alice who every single night has reoccurring dreams that feature this boy named Max in them. In these dreams they go on these crazy and epic adventures of sorts and for Alice's whole life she's been able to rely on the fact that every night she knows that she's going to be going to sleep, meeting up with Max and having a wonderful dream even if she's going through hard things in her life. But when Alice and her father move back to the city of Boston, Alice's world is completely flipped upside down when she walks into psychology class and who is sitting there in the front row? but Max. Yes, dream boy Max. Alice has always thought that Max was just this character that she made up in her mind to have her dreams with, but she soon finds out that that is not the case. And this book just follows Alice and her journey in the new school and dealing with dream boy Max and reality Max, and it gets super crazy. It is such a fun and whimsical read. I really, really enjoyed it. I gave it four and a half out of five stars, so obviously I really, really liked it. It really reminded me of the Anna and the French Kiss books, really cutesy and fun like those, but again has this like crazy dreamlike whimsical aspect that was super fun and different and something I had never read before. I think it's going to be a really great summer read for some of you guys that like to read contemporaries during the summer. It has great writing, super fast paced and fun, and it was just a wonderful read and I wish I could read it all over again. I loved it so much. I did read this book in about 24 hours, maybe less. I finished it this morning, started it yesterday like midday, so less than 24 hours. I really really am glad that I saw this at Barnes & Noble. The cover really caught my eye. It's absolutely beautiful as you can see and I just picked it up and I read the synopsis and I was like this sounds like a really fun book and then I just started reading it right when I got home and yeah I'm really happy I picked it up. So if you have yet to read this wonderful unique book I definitely recommend you to go do so, go pick it up, read it, and then you can come back for the non-spoiler section. So I'm going to be saying goodbye to non-spoiler people and for those of you that have read the book let's go and talk some details. I thought the premise of this book was so interesting to have a girl have this dream boy in her mind like the boy of her dreams and then her to go to this new school and go into class and he's there like that's hilarious and that's really what ripped me when I read the synopsis at the store I was like that sounds really interesting I'm gonna have to pick this up and I'm so happy I did I really did love this book so much I want to hear all of your opinions on it did you love it did you hate it all that kind of stuff make sure you leave it down below I really loved all of the characters in this book they were all so vibrant and refreshing I absolutely loved Max and Alice and Oliver and even like her best friend from home I love how this book took place in Boston because I'm from the Boston area that's always super exciting when you read a book and you start it and you're like oh reading it and then you realize it takes place in your area that's always so fun so that was really fun for me I could kind of tell where they were sometimes where she was like explaining the scenery I was like oh yeah Boston so I thought that was really cool I thought it was really fun and creative to have the dream sequences along with the reality and her living her actual life and I just thought it was super fun and all the dreams were so creative and hilarious and I absolutely loved reading those chapters I love when a contemporary can bring that cutesy aspect with the heartwarming which is really what I got from this book and it's what I get when I read like a Stephanie Perkins book like I said before I think when those two qualities are combined it just makes the perfect contemporary so I really really enjoyed that in this one I was dying the whole book trying to figure out what the whole deal with the dreams were in the beginning when Max kind of denies her and is like yeah I don't recognize you I don't know you like stop I was like oh well maybe when she was younger she like saw him and then had these dreams about him and just like didn't know that it was him, you know, and then he just had nothing to do with it. But we obviously find out that he also has the same dreams at the same time, which I thought was so funny. I was so disappointed when we're first introduced to Max, and it's like, oh, this is Max, and he's kind of a jerk, and he also has a girlfriend. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sad for Alice. I absolutely loved the scene where the teacher is like, here's my cookies, they're vegan, and Max like comes and like knocks it out of her hand and is like, don't eat that, it has almond flour. I was like, <gasps> He knows! I was so happy! <laughs> I truly have to say I had no idea what the outcome of this book would be. When I found out that they both were having these dreams, I was like, so what's the deal with that? And they obviously go to that dream clinic and they go to that doctor that's like trying to fix their dreams by having them like do the dreams over again, which was like really cute by the way. Um, and so there's that and then he goes to jail, which was like such a random plot twist. I was like, okay. But then they find out that there is this one woman that actually knows why they're having these weird dreams together and they go find her in Maine. The whole road trip part of the book was also so adorable and cute. I love that so much. I love Oliver. I thought he was so funny. I love me a good secondary character 
character, best friend kind of guy. Oliver was great. <laughs> but when all that happened, they get to Maine, they get to the girl, and she's like, okay, let me fix you. And then she just does. Like, she just fixes them. I was like, okay, that's a bit anticlimactic. It's like this whole book, we're like, okay, like, what's wrong with them? Why are they having these dreams? It's not really explained. The woman just, like, fixes them, which I was a little bit disappointed with. That's probably why I didn't give this book five stars. I was just looking for a little bit more of an explanation when it came to that, but we didn't really get it, which was sort of disappointing. But at the same time, I feel like it could have just made the book press on for longer, which it didn't need to be longer than it was. I thought it was a good length. Some people I was seeing on Goodreads were saying they thought the middle was kind of boring. Personally, I really enjoyed the book as a whole. I thought it went pretty fast paced for me, but I could see why some people would say that. The whole dream bleeding thing though was really interesting to see them like driving and then her like looking over and seeing her dog on a motorcycle or when they started floating in the sky and all that kind of stuff. Overall I really did enjoy the ending of the book. I thought it was really cute how they did end up together after everything they've been through. I thought it seemed very like realistic how they both kind of had their issues and they weren't sure if their relationship would work but at the end they end up together which was adorable and perfect and I ship it so I'm happy about that. But yes overall I just thought this was such a fun cute contemporary that was also super heartwarming and just beautifully written and I absolutely loved it. It was so unique and different to its genre and I just really loved it. I want to hear all of your opinions on it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? All that kind of stuff again. Just leave it down below. Let me know. Tweet me. All that kind of stuff. I really want to know your opinions. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this book talk. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Other than that, I hope you're all having an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye!